guys from? Oh yeah, the Hope Center. This right here is a documentary for the Hope Center. The Hope Learning Center has changed a lot of lives in some of the most underprivileged areas of our community. It has started as a vision and came to life, a passion still thriving to this very day. Through sweat and a little bit of faith and a little bit of help, the Hope Learning Center was born. As a skilled contractor, Pastor Daniel Dean literally built the building himself. The Hope Learning Center offers many free programs to the community and it pretty much teaches people how to get along with each other. There's volunteer services, you have workforce services, you have computer classes, you have cooking classes. I'm, I'm thankful and to the mayor, uh, uh, Pastor Dean, I'm, I'm honored to be here and I, I just want to say that I came here about a year ago and I was very excited then when I saw the, the achievements that were taking place at the Hope Center. And I'm back here again as you celebrate your second year anniversary. And I'm just proud to be a part of this community. He has this system to where if they make good grades, they bring their report cards straight to him. And I would be proud of the fact that they made days and days because he doesn't want to see anything less than a C. This place being here makes it easy for them to get the help they need. Oh, and it offers a little bit of Bible knowledge too. Every time you walk in, you always learn something new. East Tampa is located just north and east of downtown Tampa in historic Keyboard City. It's a close-knit community where people know each other and show support to one another during times of struggle. Known for its historic drug marches and emergence of community activities, East Tampa was once a haven of crime and poverty. Several organizations with deep roots in the area like CDC of Tampa, First Baptist Church of College Hill, and Middleton High School have laid a foundation for better times to come. We were um, one of the very first um, youth programs in East Tampa. Um, a lot of other people didn't have youth programs in East Tampa. You can find parks and recs, but no real programming to deal with true leadership and development of our youth. And then we also had our gender-specific programs, Men to Boys and Sister to Sister. Um, so upon that, that's when you start getting more development in the youth area. You got the NFL Yet Center. You got um, Hope Academy. Um, you have more chartered schools now in East Tampa. So, you know, with planting that seed and watering that seed, now we have fields of kids, hopes and aspirations that are now coming to fruition. Middleton in 1934 uh, was established in respects to George S. Middleton, who was a civic leader and a businessman here in the Tampa Bay area. In 1971, uh, Middleton was one of two schools, Howard W. Blake and George S. Middleton were the two schools for African American students. Uh, during segregation. Uh, in 1971, during integration, uh, when our students were outsourced to other schools and the predominantly African American schools based on uh, a thought of better equality uh, for children, uh, we were outsourced to other schools in the, in the county. Uh, this happened throughout the United States. At that time, Middleton became a junior high school. Uh, which was located maybe about a quarter mile up the street. In 2002, from a push from the community to reestablish Middleton as one of the cornerstone East Tampa for African American kids was reopened at, reopened as a magnet school and as a community-based school. Uh, thus, you have the new George S. Middleton here located on Osborne and 22nd. Um, I've had an opportunity to be here at Middleton three, four years now, three years as the, as the uh, principal, one year as uh, the assistant principal, and I could remember um, Pastor Dean's uh, drive to want to align with um, the school to try to figure out how they could best help and service children. And we have seen a remarkable uh, change in commitment from our students uh, in the relationships that they have developed with the Hope Center. The area has improved quite a bit since Hope Learning Center arrived, and at 29th and Lake, where the paths of drug dealers and vagrants used to intersect now stand a thriving laundromat, two convenience stores, and Hope Learning Center. At Barbecue Ministries, the school ranges from daycare to 12th grade. 
Also at the school, you get to work at your own pace, which is a great thing for most students because they can move up quickly depending on the curriculum and what they want to get accomplished. We started in 1999, September 20th. Uh, we started in our home. We had an upstairs, we have an upstairs part of our home, a one bedroom apartment, and we started the school there after being asked by two parents, eight students total, to homeschool their kids. We both work together in making sure the atmosphere has a discipline, is a disciplined atmosphere, making sure that everything that is um, is in decency and in order as much as possible, allowing parents and kids to be comfortable knowing that they're safe, there's no fighting, there's no harassment, there's no, you know, all the different things that kids normally have to face at public school, they don't have to face it here. So we've been in existence for 13 years, um, seen quite a few kids, touched quite a few lives, and 13 years later, here we are. We've been to my home, three different locations. My home was the first, and then we went to the location on Ellicott, which that also was a miracle how the Lord provided for us in that manner, for us to have that place. And I was helped us to borrow uh, $22,000 to fix it up, no income verification, and then going from that to making provisions for us to buy the property where we we're at, and for my husband to build the school we're in right now. Just all different kinds of things, God have been good. Thank you for everything you've ever done for us. We can never thank you enough for the time you dedicate to us daily. You're one of a kind and you're very well. for your dedication to our lives and our well-being. We thank you and we show our appreciation for your spirit. Thank you for touching our lives. I work with the high school students, tutoring, and the younger kids helping out with whatever they need help with. Do you like it so far? I love it. The ministry is great. They have a great fellowship where anyone can come up and sing or say scripture, giving their own expression of praise. Each service is followed by a delicious Sunday dinner and food is homemade, not store-bought. And when Pastor Dean preaches sometimes, his points can be directed exactly to individuals who need it, but the coolest thing that is a lot of service focuses on the children. Making a difference more, doing more to make a difference. 